Hume's a school that has um, undergone massive transformation in the last couple of years. We actually had three secondary colleges in this area that have amalgamated 18 months ago to form to form Hume, and obviously we've got you know a complete um, you know, change in terms of the buildings, the whole entire infrastructure. We've uh, designed an entirely new curriculum, and we've got most importantly, I suppose, we've had three sort of three separate cultures joining into one, and that's brought with it. Uh, a whole, you know, range obviously of different sorts of staff and, and different sorts of beliefs about teaching and learning and different approaches and it's been really interesting to watch that amalgamation process. New leadership. Um, AIZ has really supported us through this change process. It's really provided us with this sort of the, a structure and a whole series of processes that keep us focused on our core business of, of improving literacy and numeracy outcomes. We're a phase one school and this year we've we've really done a lot of reflection on, on how we began our involvement in AIZ last year and, and we've refined our, our model for the rollout of the of the strategy. Um, we've brought more people on board as learning leaders. We, as a three campus school, we have decided that it's important to have learning leaders on each campus and um, and we've and I think the most important thing is that leadership and principal class have really this year taken a much more active role in supporting the implementation of AIZ and, and creating the structures for the learning leaders the time and the and you know for those learning leaders to work with other staff and and to be supported to do to do the work that they need to do I, I suppose the AIZ has really made us focus on our data and made us recognise, you know, across the college that we can't improve our data and our student learning outcomes unless we improve teacher practice. And AIZ's provided us with the sort of professional development and the, the ongoing professional learning to actually achieve that change. And I think the impact that we can see already, which has come about directly as a result of our involvement with AIZ, is We've got teams of teachers collaborating, analysing data, reflecting and talking about teaching and learning and then analysing the impact of their professional learning in terms of student learning outcomes. Um, the AIZ's provided us with really high calibre professional development, um, you know, on a range of fronts. I mean, John Munro, not just in terms of equipping our staff with a really deep understanding of the sort of strategies that, um, that literacy strategies that sort of change literacy outcomes for students, but also his work with us on developing whole school literacy implementation plans. Peter Sullivan and his model for um, improving numeracy has been um, has had a has had a massive impact on the way that we've designed our seven to ten maths curriculum. Um, Raymond Lewis is he, he's he's the academic that's come and visited our school, and uh, that's been a huge focus for us in terms of developing a safe and orderly learning environment. That and the curriculum redesign have been our two absolute key focuses as a school, as a college, uh, in, since our new principal began. And Ray Lewis and the model that he's provided us with have really um, have led us through that. I consider us really lucky to have had the opportunity as a as a college to be involved with the phase one AIZ. It's um it's 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 been one of the key supports throughout this um, period of massive change.